Hey everyone, I'm back and I got a new haircut. So cute, I'm obsessed with it. Anyways, so I'm back and this week I want to share with y'all 10 things new military wives need to know because I needed to know them a long time ago and I wish somebody would have told me. So I want to tell y'all some things that y'all need to know. And if you're a girlfriend planning on hopefully one day being a military wife, then this video is also for you. Um, so you know kind of the things that you need to be working on right now in order to be a great military wife. So here we go. The first thing I would say that is the most important thing that you need to know as a new military wife is to continuously, no matter what, pursue your dreams, your aspirations, your goals, pursue all of those, even if you're a military wife. Um, a lot of the times, it kind of just gets pushed down because of traveling and, you know, what if a child comes along and kind of just stuff like that. And like I kind of said in my very first video, I just got out of college um, and so I'm, you know, searching for a job and luckily I got a job but you never want to stop pursuing your dreams and I hope that even if we do travel and if we can continue to travel that I'll stay just grounded in the fact that I want to do what I want to do um, no matter where we go no matter what happens I think that's really important to keep striving for what you want two I think is also very very important um, it's seeking out a mentor whether it's a biblical mentor or someone who's older in the kind of like season of being a military wife, um, it's really important to seek, first of all, a biblical counselor because you don't want to get lonely times where they're gone. You want to kind of have that foundation of um, women in the church or a mentor who can remind you about just how good God is and who can keep you in this remembrance of you're not alone, you have the Lord. And then also women who've been through it, been through deployments, so can tell you, you know, things that are going to happen, what you can do to kind of get your mind off of it. And so I think mentors are very, very important. Number three that I've kind of <laughs> been struggling with is going out and meeting new people. You always want to meet new people, especially where you're at. Even if, even though you're going to move, you always want to make friends and meet kind of just everyone you can just to have like a big community of people that you can just say, hey, how's it going or whatever. So I think that's a really important one to be outgoing. And if you're shy, you know, maybe just meet a couple people if you can, um, but just try to just try to get out there. Number four is value and respect and support your husband. Those are going to be really, really big things that you need to do as a wife in general. Support your husband. When he comes home, it's not always going to be all cheery and happy because you have to remember he's coming home from the military. They kind of beat him down sometimes, aren't very encouraging all the time. Um, and so you have to be that strong support of, you know, I love you. I'm here for you. You know, tell me anything you want. And just kind of be there for them to support them um, and have their back and love on them and stuff like that. Number five is a hard one for me to wrap my mind around, but I'm slowly kind of learning and understanding it. There's going to be a lot of milestones that are missed. I know, you know, in the next few years when he gets deployed, there's going to be birthdays missed and I love my birthday and so I'm probably going to cry, but my birthday is going to be missed and I'm sure Christmas or Valentine's Day um, and all those and so that's going to be really hard for me but it's just kind of something that you know has to be done and so it's important to kind of just already have that mindset of he's going to be gone and kind of maybe makes it easier I don't know we haven't been there yet but just know that that's something that is important to know. Number six is be flexible. Be extremely flexible because you never know where you're going to go ever and we got lucky and now we know where we're going to go but it was kind of a change that we weren't expecting and just be flexible and like 
the times that they make him stay later or the times that they say, hey, you have to stay on the ship for the whole night sometimes. Um, and so you just really have to be a flexible person and just kind of go with the flow of whatever's happening. And like I told you in my first video, I'm a planner, but I still, I still have to be flexible and just be like, okay. And there's times where I get angry, but it's like, I can't do anything about it. So just kind of have to let the anger go. Number seven, communication is key. Very, very key. You figure out in marriage that you're not so good at communicating after all. And so it's really important to not only accept what they're saying, but really understand it, really understand where they're coming from, acknowledge their feelings, communicate about, you know, finances, traveling, what are we going to do if this happens? And you know, when he gets deployed, talk about that and make sure you know everything in advance. Um, and things are going to change, but make sure you know them just in case. But just communicating and understanding each other um, is very, very important. Number eight is military marriages are a lot of work. A lot, 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 lot of work. They're a lot of work. Um, they're a lot more than regular marriages because there's a lot of leaving, loneliness, wanting to find other love from somewhere else. And so you really have to work on trust and there has to be trust there. There has to be trust. Um, and I think the most important thing is transparency. Like transparency and trust are key in this marriage, especially in military marriages. And there's just a lot of things you have to work on. And like I said, communication and just for women not being so angry at the fact that he has to leave. And so I just think I'm not the person to say how much work needs to be done because I don't know your marriage um, or your future marriage, but I'm just gonna tell you right now, it takes a lot, a lot of work. So prepare for that. Number nine is expect none of your plans to happen. We can plan a weekend road trip when he's off, but he might be called on duty he might you know something might happen where he needs to go or they make him do something you know and it just doesn't happen that way or I can plan something for us to do in the afternoon and he has to stay at work later or you know whenever he gets deployed I can expect him home within a certain amount of months and they extend him which I hope doesn't happen because I will lose it but it might happen so just expect none of your plans to happen um, because the military is so just chaotic sometimes where you never know what's going to happen um, and it's important to just stay just stay calm and be like hello number 10 which I'm so bad at but I hopefully I'll get better we've only been married a year so hopefully I'll get better but new wives I think need to know the acronyms of the military and he'll tell me stuff through text or he'll talk to me about, you know, something and he'll use an acronym and I'm like, yeah, I totally know what you're talking about. And he'll have to explain it to me because I have no idea. And I know most stuff. I know his ranking. I know what ship he's on. I know a lot of stuff. But when it comes to the acronyms, I'm so bad at it. I couldn't even tell you an acronym because that's how I, I don't know. I don't know any of them. So... Just get to know the acronyms, new wives, and be great wives, not like me. So yeah, so there's a lot of things that new wives kind of just need to know, whether you're in a, a regular marriage or a military marriage. And so the more that I learn, probably, the, I'll make a part two one day, maybe, on things that new wives should know. I am just slowly learning every day what it takes to live with someone in the military and just kind of accept it as it is even if I don't like it sometimes, but that's okay. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, comment down below and share with your thoughts, share your feelings. I always comment back. So um, give me a holler even if it's to say hi and subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all next week.